Hey everybody, it's Chris, and on this episode of The Process, we're going to be reviewing portfolios, your website, your logos, identity design, even your motion graphics pieces. But we're going to do something a little bit different. As you can tell, we're going to be doing this live. So those of you guys that are tuning in on Facebook, you'll be able to comment. And Mr. Ben Burns, who I'll introduce in a little bit, he'll be responding to your comments, and he'll be feeding me some of those questions. But those of, the, of you guys who managed to get into Crowdcast, I'll be reviewing your portfolio live and having a video conversation with you as well. So come on into the office, guys. We're in a little different space today. We're in my office. And first up is Mr. Ben Burns. He's our new digital director. He's been all of uh, working here for a couple of days, like four days. And some of you guys might recognize Ben from YouTube. Anyways, this is my office. And you guys can see that I'm a geek at heart. I love my comics. I love my toys. And maybe Aaron can show people a little bit about what's in here. So there's an assortment of books. Everybody all wants to know, what am I reading? What am I looking at? You're going to see books on architecture, on product design, interior design. Of course, there are graphic design books up the wazoo. And on top, and you can't see it now because the light's here, but uh, my collection of Star Wars toys. Picked up some new things from the holidays. And this is where we also do the podcast. So you can see there's a lot of equipment here. And the man holding the camera his name is Aaron, and he's doing all the lights and the, the camera, uh, the mic work. And behind the scenes is Cheryl, and she's running the switchboard, you guys. So we're going to jump into it in a second, so stick around. Let me try this again. I want you guys to listen to me. Yeah. I design sandwiches. My name is Jose Caballet, and I talk about the design of business. <laughs> the des I talk about a lot of stuff. My name is Chris Doe, and I talk about the business of design. At the center of this operating system, it's about understanding. <clears throat> Jose, can we just tell them what the show title is? I hate you, dude. You are watching The Process. Process. OK, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Welcome back to the show. As uh, this is something new that we're doing, there may be some technical glitches, but hang in there. We're going to try to do something different, and I'm going to actually look at work and talk to people for the first time and broadcast that all. Mr. Ben Burns, are we, are we live yet? We are live. 50 where, viewers. Where is the stream? I can't share it on my network. People on Crowdcast, hang tight for a second. There it is. Now I can share this. Give me one second. Share it out. All right, that's going. Awesome. Things are working. Okay, Miguel, I just sent you an invite there. And while I'm waiting for you to jump on, I'm going to look at the questions here. Miguel, I'm trying to get into freelancing full time, but unfortunately, in the region where I live, the demand for freelance graphic designers is quite low. There is a preference on working with agencies rather than individuals. The amount of design work available in general is low, and unfortunately, I'm unable to move anywhere else. Uh, where there is wait, anywhere where there is, where there is more what is the best way to overcome these sort of difficulties and here's my website okay Miguel where are you from uh, I'm from Portugal from Portugal oh, oh, hopefully you can hear me I can hear you perfectly thanks for wearing the headset it's coming in All really right. loud and clear so you're having trouble getting work because uh, there's not a lot of um, need for design work in the area that you live right exactly yeah okay uh, let's see, so can you just sum up your question for me? So, um, what I'm trying to, to get is okay, in these type of situations, definitely I'm not in uh, the only country where this happens, mm -hmm. or in the only region where this happens. So, what I'm trying to f uh, find out is how is the, the best way to overcome um, these type of um, difficulties, that, these limitations, you could say. Okay. So if I understand your, your question correctly, you want to market to a bigger uh, region outside of where you live, right? So you can still yeah, exactly. work at home. Uh, what area of design do you, what kind of design work do you do? Or creative uh, work? I do, I do mainly branding and uh, hand lettering calligraphy. Okay, and where are you generating most of your leads from? Um, I haven't been getting a lot of work yet because okay. I started off only recently. Okay. Uh, but mostly online through Behance and uh, Behance Gerbil Instagram, for example. Okay. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, just word of mouth, like some friends of friends, uh, so on and so on. But it's not it hasn't been too much through there. It's been more online. Okay. I'm looking at your site right now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna screen share. Let's see if I can get this to work. Application window. Okay, where are we? Screenshot. Hmm. Oh, that's going to be too weird. Okay. I'm not going to be able to share that screen, guys. It's going to give us a loop feedback thing. 
I'm looking at your Behance site right now. So you guys that are tuning in, go to uh, Miguel's website or his Behance site. Here's the thing that I'm gonna recommend. When you build a website, people are gonna have a very difficult time finding because they're not looking for you specifically. So you wanna go where buyers of design work are. And right now I think they're spending a lot of time on Behance and on Dribble, okay? Mm -hmm. So now we have to look at your site. So I'm seeing the site right now and it's got eight pieces on it. I want to make sure that first the thumbnails look really good and they, they draw you in. And if you're doing branding work, I'd like to see those thumbnails be really kind of related to branding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now I can see the, the Tattoo Octo. Mm -hmm. uh, that one is not a great thumbnail for me because it's kind of very dark. I think they're two hands right. holding something. Right? Yeah, yeah, then, yeah, exactly. So if you're looking to do a lot of like logo identity systems and branding work, I would try to show that in the best way. So you have to kind of think this is the cover art, the thing that's going to draw people in. Right. And, and they're browsing and they're browsing really fast, okay? So like keep in mind that their attention span is really short. Okay, so I like the Nata logo here, the sandbox, and you're showing some variety. And I just want to make sure that each and every one of these gives you the best opportunity to draw them in. Now, something that I recommend you doing is not just showing the logo. So I'm going to click on this Nada one, okay? Nada design rebrand here. All right, hold on, you guys. I'm going to try to share this screen. Let's let's see if it freaks out. So if I do application window, click on this, share, see what happens. All right. So now, here you go. Are you guys seeing the blue screen, the Nada design rebrand? Yeah, it's blue. It's yeah. Everything's highlighted, I think, yeah. Oh, is that what happened? Oops. Okay, here I go. Oh, man, my Wacom tablet is just a little tricky. I don't know if you guys are having that kind of problem. Okay, here we go. So I'm scanning through it. Simple, clean, plain. Completion. Not a... Okay. Cool. So here I see applications of the logo, and I like that. I think this should be your thumbnail. All right. This is much more enticing visually than just to see the logo mark itself, okay? And so I, I like basically the bottom half of your presentation more than the top half, and I'll tell you why in a second, okay? So I'm scrolling through your work right now. Okay, I think this, if I were to land on this, and you have to kind of keep in mind this old uh, convention from newspapers where it's uh, talked about above the fold. If this doesn't capture my attention, I'm most likely not going to scroll down much farther, okay? So I think in terms of how you lay this out, use the same uh, care and attention to typography and layout as you normally would for the rest of your portfolio. So simple, clean, and plain. If there's uh, sketches that you've done or works in progress where you're kind of seeing the vector, not the vector, but like in Illustrator, you can see the outline version as you're working on it, showing that kind of process with the word simple, clean, and plain on top of that, or potentially showing a mood board or something about your thinking process is better for me. So right here, it takes a while for me to see like there. Now it's starting to get interesting and then it's not until here that it becomes, I'm, I'm more interested. In. So right. if I'm scanning on the internet right now and I'm looking for an identity designer, I might pass you all together. And if I get to your thumbnail and then I get into your site itself or the work, uh, you might lose me again. So you kind of have to think about the user in mind and how you can draw them in, okay? All right. Does that make sense? And the yeah, other yeah, thing that you need to do is you need to um, title your things correctly and for them to be found. So I don't like the, that some of these say sandbox arts and entertainment. It doesn't tell me anything about it. You should say logo and identity design. That's what I'm looking for. Or in this one, it's like hand lettering. That was a good, this is a good way to phrase it. So this one you're, you're calling Calligraphy and hand lettering collection one. This is a very popular thing that people do on Behance. Um, and they're showing a collection of work. I like the champion mark. Did you draw that one? Yeah. Okay, that yeah, one looks it. nice. Okay. Uh, the yeah, portrait one. These were my, 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 first, my first ones when I first started getting into calligraphy. Yeah. So now I'm. I'm um, in, the, in the near future, I'm probably going to post the rest that I've been doing. But if, on Instagram is where I post like um, every second day, I post uh, uh, calligraphy or a branding uh, image. Okay. So May I have permission to, to uh, give you some design advice here? Yeah, of course. Okay. 
I like some of your lettering more than others. And so if I like some more than others, I would suggest you edit out the ones that are not as good. All right. Okay, so here I'm looking at this one that says, what does that say, love yours? Yeah, exactly. Okay, it's a little bit hard to read, and I'm looking at the weights, the thick and thins, and, and it's not flowing for me. Whereas I look and I scroll down, here's where I feel like, you know, your weights are really good, the way that you end the strokes, this feels really good. This feels like top level lettering work, okay? The champion mark. And then I go, this one's okay. It's, it, it still feels a little rough to me. The portrait one is getting better. I don't love the highlights that you put in here. I would just prefer yeah. like this kind of single stroke, like pen weight. And where it gets a little tricky is in the T, the U, and the G and A, and just refine that. So I'm looking for refinement here, okay? And the All way right. that you draw. And if you draw this really, really well, I think you're gonna get work from just drawing two or three marks. And I know you said this already, you have a lot of new work. Get your new work up here, edit out the work that shouldn't be here. Because I look at it like, you know what, can I hire this person to do this? Which logo version am I gonna get? Like the Shaman one looks really good too, okay? Yeah. Maybe the S is feeling a little bit funny in here. I don't know if you can see my mouse moving, but the S stroke right there is a little bit funny and I would work on that, okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah, these. Like I said, these were like my first ones, and I think I've gotten much better since this since I first started. Um, all the lines are much. I, I I have more attention to detail than I had at the time that I posted that. Okay. So um, yeah, so I'm I'm looking to update that as well. But thanks for the feedback. Okay, is that good enough? So what you want to do yeah, is do good. the meta tags, title things. Make sure you have great thumbnails. Let me scroll this out. Make sure you have great thumbnails and order and stack the work so that it makes people want to look at the work, the rest of the work. So if you just All change right. your thumbnail from just the logo and you show an application and the header image once you click in is something really beautiful, then break down the process and make sure you spend as much time presenting the process as you do the work. Otherwise, don't show it at all. All right. Okay. And great mockups sell design work. So spend yeah. the time making beautiful mockups now. You don't have to create them yourself. You can download things off of Creative Market. There's a bunch of websites out there um, that you can download things off and save time there. Okay? Right. All right. Thank Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay. Good luck, man. All right. Uh, who's the next one here? Freddie. Okay. We're going to bring Freddie on. Branding focus. After adjusting the alignment and connectivity of my business, it has shifted in branding. Could you take a look at the flow of the website and the language used to easily understand what we do? All right. I know Freddie, so I will share that screen with you guys. Here we are. So he wants me to take a look at the messaging. Any questions thus far, Ben? Are we okay on Facebook Live? No questions. Okay, cool. Splashboard Design Company. Let us bring your story to life. <clears throat> Brand strategy and business design. Have a story to be told. Not sure how to tell it. I'll just bring the story to life. Okay. Let's scroll down here a little bit. Hope your brand develops. How, how your, your brand develops. Brand audit, brand discovery, brand execution, introduction. Somebody trying to call me? Brand avenues. Okay. All right, Freddie. I know that, uh, that you're uh, probably listening and you can't see or we can't talk to each other. That's totally okay. The first thing that I'd like to ask of you is maybe instead of having this type animated it would be better just to have it written out and I think that's important for a couple different things one is if I tune in at the wrong time I'm trying to figure out where it begins and I think it's important to structure this as you have as kind of like a four sentence structure and it needs to be linear so if I jump in at the wrong point it's kind of off-putting to me and the other thing too is maybe I read at a different pace and, and then what you animate Maybe I want to read faster or maybe I want to read slower and you animating it creates a problem. So that's where I think being kind of tricky and, and fancy with your animation and web programming, it's not helping you here. So I like the way that you tell that um, and there's and, I, and, and it's, it, it's in alignment with what you're trying to accomplish. I also like the Stormtrooper looking up at the Edison light bulb there. That's pretty cool. Here when we get into this, I wonder if there's more you can do with this because this feels like you have an outline of a structure, but it's, it's kind of thin. There's not much more to do here, okay? And if this is really your process, I would blow it out a little bit more. So save, um, 
like the brand audit, it should be its kind of own card and you can describe it, you can show examples of it, brand discovery, and so on and so forth, because there's not much else here on the site, all right? I'm gonna move on. I wish I could have a conversation with you, but I can't. So I'm gonna stop that right now. So close that video, bring me back. All right, so that's Freddie. Uh, but anytime there's a Facebook question, let me know and I'll deal with that. Yeah, we'll do. Okay. All right. I'm going to invite on screen. Advenus? Come on down. It takes a second, you guys. You have 40 people watching. Yeah, 40? And Ben, are you seeing the work too? Do you have, I mean, feel free to comment on things, Ben. Okay, definitely. I can only join voice. That's fine. Just join voice. Don't worry about the camera. JR Ingram says hi. What's up, JR? See, Dane wants to know if the stream is going to be uploaded on YouTube. Um, we are going to do our best to upload this stream onto YouTube, Dane. And it'll be fancy then. Uh, Advenus, Freddie says he can chat in five minutes, but. Advenus, are you joining us? Chris, what, uh, what software are you using over there? I'm using Crowdcast.io, and I have um, Joey Corman from School of Motion to thank for that. He turned me on to Crowdcast. Usually we're using Fuse, and Crowdcast allows us to have questions and polls and, and a chat window here that you guys can see. Doesn't let me to join without camera, seems like. Okay, so I'm going to remove you then. All right, I'll answer your question here. So I'll try to monitor the comments, okay? This is my university application portfolio that I'm currently working on. As we discussed earlier, I'd like for you to review the work itself, not the effectiveness of the portfolio. This is not what my portfolio will look like. Some projects I have and wasn't for uni requirements. Okay, so he wants me to look at his portfolio. I'm gonna click on that. Okay. So he wants the work itself, just review the work. Okay, let me share that screen with you guys. Close this. Okay, I'm only gonna be able to review a few pieces here. So I'll just start off with the top left. And why would I start off with the top left? Because that's where everybody else starts off with, okay? So it's important that that be your best work. So it's a, a logo here for Levicon APS. It's for a real client. So here's this process here. Just need a minute here to look a look at this. Levicon, okay. Oh. Quality, precision, cleanliness. Okay. Couple things here. All right, Ben, are you seeing this too? Levicon APS? I'm a couple seconds behind, but I can see it. Okay, so it, it looks to me like you've created this uh, triangular mark that's some kind of abstraction of an L, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe it has some kind of meaning that I can't figure out. And so I, I look at the sketches. Like I said before, you have to take time to present the sketches so that they look really interesting. And I like sketches that are more about form than they are about line. So you have to fill in these shapes, okay? So I'll show you, okay? I'm gonna switch over to a different application here. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Let's see if we can do that. So I'm gonna switch this. Okay, I'm gonna share a different app. And I'm gonna share Photoshop. I think it's this one. All right, close this. All right, guys, hopefully you guys can see my Photoshop screen here. 
So when I'm talking about when you're doing sketching, let's say that it was like this thing that he was drawing, right? And it had a shape like this. Now that's what I consider line. So when you are designing symbols and logos, it's more about the solid forms that they take. So what you need to do, hopefully I can do this right. Close out that a little bit right there. And then use the paint bucket. Where the heck is the paint bucket? It's here. And fill it in. Okay, so now you can see the one on the left, it's just a line, and then the one on the right has a shape. So if you're gonna do sketching, you guys, make sure you take the time to fill that in. Now when you're doing a sketch, you don't have the paint bucket, so here's what I suggest. I suggest you just start really fast, just you know, draw it in like that. Now if you're using a pencil, this is a lot faster than it is in Photoshop, because you can lay the pencil down on its broad edge and then fill it in really fast, but it's important that I think you fill it in. So I'm gonna switch back to Chrome here. Okay, and I'm gonna look at your work. So the, sorry, let me close this. I'm trying to do too many things. Mm -hmm. All right, so kind of like with the previous person I was speaking to, uh, I like the application of it a lot. Uh, the way that you designed a business card and the color blocking, the kind of graphic pattern, I like a lot. And the way that you dropped it into the letterhead helps me to visualize it, okay? And even the poster and the sign that, or whatever that's called, um, what is that called, like a poster or something? Mm -hmm. I like so that. Much. The mark itself, I'm not crazy about, I have to tell you the truth here. <clears throat> Um, there's a couple reasons. One is the yellow doesn't read really well on white, and you can see it very clearly on here where I'm looking at the t-shirt. All right, let me zoom in on this. Can I zoom in? There we go. See, like, the yellow against the white's low contrast, you may need to pick a darker hue, okay? And I'm not sure what the triangle L and that shape means. It, it feels like to me they're not all integrated, and how do I mean that? When you look at the angle of the L of the triangle, is that form repeated somewhere else within the logo of the Levicon? So that's where I think you want to try to tie the symbol into the, 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 the logo that you drew and try to integrate that together because it feels like separate pieces, okay? And that's all I'm going to say about that. I'll pick one more piece. I'd say in presentation too, you kind of want to wow somebody first. Yeah. So maybe putting the sketches farther down on the page. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, you show a little backstory a little bit later. Yeah. So I'm thinking uh, we're going to come upon a, like a repeating theme here, right, Ben? You have to draw people in with your work. And the splashiest, the coolest images seem to be the things that you guys are showing the last. And maybe by flipping the order and also taking the time to spend um, taking really great photos of your process and making sure that that process looks really good. Okay. I, I think you're still a student. And this was a kind of student work, and so we want to just make it like as professional looking as possible. I'm gonna look at one more piece. Ben, can you see the screen? Which piece do you think I should pick? Let me let it catch up real quick. Okay. A little delay there, you guys. JR wants to know where he can submit his portfolio for the next one. You will do the same thing. So next time when we, what's his name again? JR Ingram. JR Ingram, I, I know JR. Hey, JR, so if you want to submit your work for the next Facebook Live Design Critique, you're going to have to sign up for Crowdcast and then submit uh, your question with a URL link that everybody else had done here. And then you have to hang out live with us so that we can talk to you, okay? I'm going to look at one more piece. I guess I'll just pick the ping pong thing. Oops. So this is sports posters, uh, ping pong, mini golf, and netball. Okay. Yeah, so this time, Ben, he showed the work up front and the sketches at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna be kind of brutally honest with you here. Uh, I, your, sketch, your sketches are not great. I don't think they're helping you out at all. So if your sketches were really beautiful and you showed like a lot of ideation, iteration, that would be really cool. But right now, they don't present well, so I would not even show those. Just show your finished posters. I like the fact that you're doing this tone on tone thing, the blue on blue, the green on green, and this pink on pink sort of. And I like the imagery. Maybe the topography needs a little bit more work. And I think 
taking the type and just jamming it into the corner doesn't do anything for me personally. Uh, and if you need some more typography help, maybe Ben can send you guys a link to either the typography animation video that we've created or uh, we have a slideshare deck where you can read some of my tips on typography, okay? And I think right now it feels like you've taken ping, ping pong and shoved it in the upper left corner and then the, the rest of the copy and put it into the bottom right. I want you to think about it as the whole page and probably try to get some negative space in there. That's, that's what I have to uh, contribute to the critique there, okay? I'm gonna close this and close this. All right, how are we doing on time? Okay, we're about half an hour in. So guys, I'm obviously not gonna be able to critique everybody's work, so maybe I have to go a little bit faster here. So Zach Woods here, shoot. I, I kinda have to just go down this list, you guys. If you want the app thing that Zach is talking about, Zach, rally the troops, have them vote that thing up, because I'm just going from the top to the bottom here. Okay? All right, let's see here, Freddie. Venus, Fernanda, Fernanda, let's uh, let's get you on, okay? Let's see where are you, Fernanda? Invite on screen. Fernanda, I just invited you. She rejected. Fernanda, you don't want to come on screen? Okay, she says okay. She just, English is not her native language. That's cool. All right. She's a recent graduate, doing some print work, and she's creating a proposal. I always struggle with the feeling that my work may not be good enough. Welcome to the club. How to deal with this insecurity? I'm still creating my identity, web page, and some kind of print portfolio. Only a Portuguese version, so okay. But uh, any suggestion for improving would be amazing. PDF not completed, all right. So this is kind of two questions here about confidence and feeling that you're good enough and I think you know I was talking to somebody that is a highly regarded designer and he has thousands of fans and he was just sharing me kind of in a very vulnerable state that he still struggles with am I good enough and I'm not sure that that feeling will ever go away okay but let's take a look at the work um, that's a very deep conversation that if I talk about it I feel like I won't be able to get through this work okay All right, looking at your work right now. Oh, I forgot to share the screen, guys, sorry. My bad. Share the screen. Oops, not that one, this one. Okay, here's your work. This is very nice. Okay, this is a very nice layout. I can tell that you understand how to use topography. It's very clean. And in this case here, I'm assuming these are your hands or somebody's hands you got, and this is your actual book, and this is not a mock-up. And I think as great as mock-ups are, uh, taking your own photography, if you can do it and it looks good and you can light it, it's a much better approach. 